What's up, stoners? I'm Brecken, and welcome back to Stoner's Couch. Today, I got a cart review for you. And if you want to see a closer look at this cart, here you go. All right, stoners, let's look at this cart. Here's the front of the package. Nice see with the cookies. Had to rip the sticker off for y'all, but it didn't come off in the best manner. What are you gonna do? Let's look at the back. Triple scoop derived vape cartridge. Indica formulated with indoor cannabis. 1G. There is the dosing. 100 doses per cart. What does that say? 8 milligrams per dose. Total terps, 3% terpenes. Majority is the lemon terp. Second majority is the skunk terp. The lena lul, and then everything else you got a little bit of. So how you done? As the production info right here. Pull and inhale for two seconds of refrigeration, not needed. All right, nice. If you guys want to look at the back of this package and, and go over that, Pause the video, there you go. Oh, it looks all right. Cart looks very average, just like your average cart. Yeah, can't really say too much on it. But let's smoke this shit, stoners, and see how it is. Now that you've seen a closer look at this cart, you know the strain is triple scoop and the brand is cookies i've never had the brand cookies before but i've always heard about them seen them on social media seen cookies hats and stores spencers whatever you see cookies everywhere then you go to get one of their carts and they charge you up the ass my question today is am i paying for the brand name cookies or am i actually paying for the quality of the oil inside. <sighs> Tasted really ice creamy. Tasted a lot like some ice cream. I turned the voltage up to 3.0 to uh, see if it gives me a better hit because I didn't really get too much of a nice hit off of that. I tasted it, tasted like some ice cream. I don't know how it's cannabis derived, but it tastes like ice cream at the same time. That don't make too much sense, but it did taste really good. I'm gonna give it two minutes to cool down like you always should. And then I'm going to hit it again. What's up, stoners? I found out how I feel about the cookies cart. What, I, what I'll talk about first is the taste. The taste is tremendous on these carts. It tastes just like some indoor, high-end, exotic candy flower. That's what it tastes like. Right now, I'm smoking the cart triple scoop, and it tastes almost like ice cream or butterscotch it tastes tremendous so i can definitely give the taste on these things like i would say like a solid nine out of ten on the taste because it they are candy like candy cannabis derived terps you know like lemon cherry gelato triple scoop whatever whatever candy terps you don't get much candy terps in carts but personally i prefer gas so that's why I give these carts a 9 out of 10 on the taste. What I'll say about the high is I'm disappointed in the high, I feel, for how expensive these can be at dispensaries and places you go to get them. They should get you higher and there should be a more efficient high. For the prices that you can pay, you can pay up to $75 to $100 on just one gram cart. So I feel like if I'm paying that much, or I could potentially pay that much for a cart, it should get me high as fuck. High, high to the fucking moon. 
if you can even get there. So that's why I think I have to rate this high, probably at a six out of 10, because it gets the job done, it gets you fried, but for the price that you pay for it, it should get you more high. They are not as good as they're marketed. That's what I'll say. Tastes tremendous, but the high is not where I want it to be for how expensive these are. That's it. Overall rating on this cart, I'm gonna have to put it at a six out of 10 because it's gonna get you high, it's gonna taste nice, but for how how high in the price these can go up to, I say they should be better. Cookies Stoner's Couch Certified. Yeah, they are. You know, they get you high, they taste good, but they can just be really expensive. You're best off going to like a cookies dispensary rather than someone that sells cookies products because they're just gonna upcharge you. So before we go, Before we go, I'm gonna talk about Save Soil. Deforestation, agricultural mistakes and moves that farmers make is causing our topsoil to degrade heavily. 52% of our agricultural land has already degraded. And if this continues to happen at the rate that it's happening at right now, which is a very high rate, it's going to be the end of life as we know it. That's how important our soil is. 95% of our food comes from the topsoil, and that depends on how healthy it is if we're going to get that food that we need to keep us alive. Safe soil, guys.